welcome to yet another edition of Promocation. I'm Kathy, as usual with you and thank you for joining us. Today we're going to be talking about Red Cross. Red Cross is an international organization and here in the BVI they have been doing a wealth of things. And so we'll be talking with Miss Helen Frett and she'll tell you about all that goes on here at Red Cross BVI. I'm Helen Frett, I'm the director of the Red Cross. I am a nurse by profession. So I worked at the BVI Health Services Authority for over 33 years. Um, I resigned as the infection control manager. I joined the Red Cross again because it was an organization I was involved in since I was a child. I started in primary school. At that time, the, the junior Red Cross um, was in the primary schools. I started in the primary schools and so I was involved there and I made my way up to the VADs or voluntary aid detachments. Those are the older ones you know, who go out into the community and offer first aid coverage. And when I heard about this job opening, I thought this was a good opportunity because at the time I was getting ready to retire from the hospital. The Bay Red Cross was started in 1956 and it was started because there was, a, there was a need at the time to help those persons who were vulnerable and persons who had needs. So we were focusing at the time on the needy persons in the population. And it was also felt that first aid was um, something that was missing, first aid training was something that was missing in the territory. And so the Red Cross started first aid trainings as well. And over the years we've evolved and now we are celebrating our 60th anniversary next year, in 2016. The Red Cross is a volunteer humanitarian organization. So we do work that would help persons, mostly like to build um, capacity in communities so that persons can know how to respond to disasters and how to recover after a disaster. And we also help to prepare persons who are going to go out into the field to do first aid coverage. We have our first responders and so we do first aid training for them as well, as well as first aid training for companies and individuals because we believe that everyone should be able to perform first aid during an emergency. So our aim is to make sure that at least 80% of the population feel comfortable and are willing to carry out first aid if they encounter an emergency. We are funded in a variety of ways. We do lots of fundraisers. We have a thrift shop that brings in some income. We also get money from the corporate business businesses, as well as a grant from the government and training opportunities from British Red Cross. Why do you need volunteers at this time? Without volunteers, we wouldn't be able to carry on the number of activities that we carry on. We do so many different programs, and if we were to pay everybody for the work that we do, you know, we wouldn't be able to cover as many persons as we cover and be able to carry out the number of programs that we are involved in. Yeah, most persons just associate us with first aid coverage or first aid training, but we are so much more than that. You know, we, we do lots of training. We also do training in home care basics, which is a basic nursing program for persons who look after the elderly in their homes. It's a three months program and ladies and gentlemen have participated over the years. It's been going on for about 15 years and persons who participate in this training, they're able to find jobs with the government social development department in their, home, in their elderly care program, as well as with private individuals in their homes looking after their elderly relatives. We also have another project which is one of our signature projects which is the annual prostate cancer screening for men which is held in January. Next year we will be expanding it to a men's health fair so that we look at the men a little bit more holistically and so we will be looking at programs like exercise, diet, checking cholesterol, blood glucose, blood pressure, and introducing them to exercise, um, like we'll be bringing in persons from various gyms to teach them about different exercises 
as well as hopefully we'll have a chiropractor and different health practitioners we will we have invited to participate in the program. What's your greatest need right now? Finances and volunteers with the time. We do have a, a lot of volunteers on our books but most of our volunteers work and so the time that we may need them they may not always be available. So that is one of our needs as well as the need for finance to be able to carry out the programs that we do. We need money to do that. They can contact us here at the Red Cross at info at bviredcross.org or they can call 494-6349. Well, we would just like to encourage persons to come on board with us to become volunteers with the Red Cross. We need persons in our trip shop. Um, we need persons to assist us with fundraising and with running some of our programs. So thank you very much for having us here this afternoon. Hats off to all the volunteers, Ms. Fred and her team that work here at the BVI Red Cross Society. We're sure that you will be encouraged now to either support them financially or become an active volunteer. I'm Kathy Richards with this edition of Promocation. If you think that you have something that you would love us to feature here, just drop us an email at video and audio productions at gmail.com. Check us out also on YouTube and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm Kathy and on behalf of the entire production team, you have been Promocated.